Regardless of how many subs you have and how they are positioned, we need a detailed, three-dimensional understanding of what is happening in the listening area before we can begin. So having a plan for spatially sampling the listening area to see what is happening is essential. Every room is different and therefore should be measured differently. So we created a tool to help you plan these measurements, both how many might be needed and where to place the microphone. This is obviously not drawn to scale since we do not know the exact details of your room. But you get the idea. We need measurements at approximately ear level, the round measurement points, and another layer of measurements in between and above the first layer to let us see what is happening just above your head in the listening area. Note that all adjacent measurements should be no more than one meter apart. We usually aim to have them be about 70 centimeters or a little over two feet apart to be on the safe side. We don't want anything important happening between the measurement points that might be missed. So as a first step and before you start the measurement, please visit trinov.com waveforming to generate your microphone map. You can export it and use it as a reference to run your waveforming measurements following the same numbering later on. Make sure you rename your reference measurement as such as it will be named measurement one by default. Once you are confident that everything is as it should be, you can use the map you created to start the additional waveforming measurements. When performing the waveforming specific measurements, use the subs only option on the calibration page. This will speed things up considerably and is required for the waveforming algorithm to function properly. The reference position is the only complete measurement that waveforming uses in its calculations. You do not have to repeat the reference position as a subs only measurement. It is also a good idea to save your measurements into a preset as you go along. This can save you a lot of time in case of a problem or a mistake. We recommend saving into two different presets, alternating between them so you always have a backup preset in case you need it. For example, you might update preset 3 after the odd-numbered measurements and preset 4 after the even-numbered measurements. Once you have completed all your measurements, make a backup copy of the preset. There's something to the idea of save early, save often. Then compute your waveforming calculation. This can take a few minutes as the calculations are extremely complex. Save your preset again once the calculations are complete. This becomes your first waveforming preset. 